hi and welcome back to my channel Jamie Friend Colors. Today we are video two in our mushroom mini series. Um, while we're doing this we're using Daydreams by Hannah Carlson and let me find the page. I lost it again. Her books are filled with, especially this one, has a lot of mushroom pictures in it. A lot that have mushrooms. Here's one that has some mushrooms. And so I thought her book would be, here's some more mushrooms, here's some more mushrooms, a good book to use while doing this mini series. And she does have, if I can find it, one page in here that has several mushrooms for us to color. Mm -hmm. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. So we did this one already. That will be the first video. If you haven't seen that, you can go back and watch it. Today we're just going to do this little guy right here. And I thought it would be fun to make him purple. And while purple might be an odd choice, it is a great one for... Um, some of color palettes that I like to use and I've seen other people use. And um, while I was looking up mushrooms, I found a mushroom along with some others. One is called mm -hmm, Cort uh, Cortinarius Violaceus and it is a purple mushroom. And so there are the video here. Maybe I should zoom in just a little bit more since we are working on that small mushroom as well. I have to pull my camera closer to me, which is whew, and then focus. And now the goal will be not to knock into my... So here are some beautiful purple mushrooms. I don't know how great they're showing up on the screen. There are lots of them. That I, I found so many different kinds of mushrooms. And... Um, looking for things to color. So let's try doing purple. Let's let my camera fix its color here. Okay. So we're just going to do this little guy tonight. So hopefully it'll be a little bit of a quicker video than the last one was. And we're going to start with Blue Violet Lake, which is our base coat. And we're going to put him all over the whole mushroom. Just a light layer, no pressure. Um, I am using Prismacolor Premier Pencils. They will be in the description box down below as well as a link where you can purchase them if you need to. And then um, also everything's going to be right here. So you can color along with me if you would like. I'm not going to worry too much about the little dots. We can go back in with a gel pen and make them white again because I have a feeling where they're going to get some color on them tonight. Okay, we need to decide which side is going to be our light side. I think we'll put our light over here. So we'll go to our next color, which is going to be Imperial Violet. And we're going to put a little bit down here because it kind of goes back into a shadow. But then we're going to leave some light right 
right in here. So we're going to go up around the top and then down around the front here. And then kind of meet together but leave that light. And then we can color the rest of it in with this. I think purple is just a fun color to use and I love putting purple into my color palettes that I color with so I'm excited to color this. Okay I'm going to leave the stem alone now but I am going to color in all of the underneath with this color. And that underneath is going to be in the shadow, so we want to make it darker. Okay. Let's see if I can get even closer. There we go. Okay. All right, then we're going to get violet. And again, we're gonna get in this corner around the back and then we're going to leave some of the imperial violet here Can I pick it up right there there we go Okay, and then we want to get underneath. I'm going to leave the edge alone, so we're going to, we want to take this into the center, and then down there. Here. I'm going to take it right all the way to the edge over here. Okay. Okay, then we have our dioxin purple. Just a touch right there. Just a touch. And then let's start over here and we're going to bring it up, but we're going to leave some of that violet alone. Leave. I'm going to have this violet come and it's going to stay here at the front too. But I'm going to take this dioxin purple all the way up to the top. Down a little bit there. We're going to leave some of that purple there. We don't want to get into all of it there. Okay. Alright, and then we're going to take this into the middle down here. And but leave so it makes a, you know, it's darker here in the center and it's going to get lighter as it gets to the edge. Now right here it's going to be dark. And then it's going to be darker on this side because our light source isn't over on this side but I still want a little bit of light, just not as much. Okay. See that? All right, then we start to work backwards. Let's take our violet and we're gonna go 
over the dioxin purple and then over all our violet areas. I'm not using pressure still, still keeping it light. I want to add more color. Okay, and down here too. Okay, then let's get Imperial Violet and do the same thing. So go over anything darker and then anywhere we have the Imperial Violet. This time I am going to add a little bit of pressure just to help start blending things together. Still not a lot of pressure though, just like a medium pressure. Okay, then the underside. I'm getting all of that underside. Okay, then let's take the blue violet lake. And this time we're going over everything using medium pressure. To help start blending that together. Okay, and the underside. Okay, now in the last video, we talked about how we had uh, several options to blend. Um, I'll just go over them real quick again. One option, which is what we used on this one, is our Colorless Blender, and it, it has the same binders and waxes, but not any color, and that can help blend and smooth out and get rid of any white speckling you might have on your paper good option it's what we used last time um, another option is the white colored pencil which is one I don't use very often but I think it's what we're going to use today so our white colored pencil another option is a paper stump and you can use this dry using pressure to burnish and um, pull some of that color together we'll use that on another um, tutorial but not on this one um, the other option with these is to use a odorless mineral spirit um, the brand I use is Gamsol and just wet it a little bit and use that to blend we'll also do that in another tutorial um, this is a good option if you have arthritis or carpal tunnel or anything with your hands that they get fatigued too quickly and you're not able to use pressure to burnish your paper this is a um, the odorless mineral spirits is a good option to blend your colors with. Okay, so we're going to use the white today, and we're going to use it the same way we did the colorless blender. We're just going to go, I'm going to do the under here first. We're just going to go right in there, and we're just going to use that white to pull it together. Now this may, because it's white, it's going to lighten it a little bit, where our colorless blender did not do that. So just be aware of that. We can go in and put some more depth in where we need it. And 
and I'm using some pressure this time. to blend those colors together and to fill in the tooth of the paper which is why we have gets rid of those white speckles okay getting rid of some dust you see how that just blended right out that is great okay let's do the top now you want to watch your tip if it's getting too dark when you go in that those light areas you want to be careful of that so let's go ahead and start in our lightest area this time and we'll kind of work our way out so that our pencil doesn't get too dirty okay That's blending. I'm using circular motions. I'm using some pressure. Color. See if there's any where you missed or anywhere that you want to get again. All right, let's go ahead and take some of that dioxine purple and just add it in to a few spots right there. And I want it right over here. I just want that nice and dark. Right here, I'm using light pressure. I don't want too much, and I wanted to be able to blend it in. Right, I also think I want this a little more on the top there and then on these sides. Okay, I like that. That looks great. Now let's worry about this um, stalk or stem. I'm not sure what they call it. So we've already laid down a blue violet lake layer. So then we're going to take 70% um, warm gray. You know what? No, we're not going to use 70% warm. We want some cool this time. So we're actually going to take 70% cool gray and we're going to put that in those shadows. So just light pressure right up under the cap of that mushroom. Bring it down a little bit and then they kind of have this skirt flare out thing. We want to get under it as well. Hannah Carlson, the illustrator, has given us some dots to indicate where might be a good spot to put some shadows. Where we have our light source coming from this side, I want to make sure this side over here is a little darker. So I'm going to take this down the darker side and then down underneath. Okay. All right, let's bring this down just a little bit under that a little bit. All right, then we want to take a little black and we want to get right in the darkest shadows. So 
so right up underneath that cap. Be right there under that flare. Okay, and then right up underneath here. I'm using light pressure. Okay, and let's put some where she has these dots as well. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to take our 30% cool gray and we're going to blend that black and that 70% together. So I'm just going to use like a medium, medium light pressure and just go over the gray. I don't want to go too much into where we haven't had the gray. We'll use the blue to blend that, or the purple. Okay. Just a medium light pressure. Blend those colors together. Okay. Then let's grab that blue violet lake and let's blend out a little bit. We might want to leave a few highlight areas. So keep that in mind. Maybe right here on the edge of this flare out. And then a little on this side. So just Keep that in mind, lighten your pressure as you get close to that area that you want that highlight. Okay. Okay, then let's take our white pencil and blend that all together just like we did the cap. And then if you lose some of that real dark, you can always go back in and put that black back in right where you need it. Okay. All right, then a little white gel pen. Tonight I'm using the Uniball Signo. And I'm going to start with the dots furthest to my left because I'm right-handed and that way I won't accidentally set my pen in the wet or set my hand in the wet pen. So. I'll do that side of the mushroom first. And then work my way over. Did I miss any? I don't think so. I think I got them all. All right. So there is our purple mushroom. I really like how he turned out. All right.
right, thank you so much for joining me on this mini series. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know to make more of them. Um, subscribe to my channel so you know when videos go up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so I hope that you will subscribe and join me here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.